Welcome to another edition of Whiskey, Games, and Nerd Stuff. Today's video is going to be What Would You Drink With Zombie Dice? The game, I happened to be playing this last night. I was thinking what would be a good drink to pair with this. And I was having a hard time thinking of a zombie-themed whiskey or wine. So then I kind of went into, okay, what bottles would have kind of like a cool thematic feeling with um, the zombie dice? Um, and there was there was some tequila bottles I was thinking of that can come to mind, um, but I didn't happen to have any tequila at the time. But I did have a beer um, that I knew would be a perfect from a thematic standpoint that would go with zombie dice, which is Rogue Dead Guy L. So I kind of thought this was cool in the sense of you know it's got the skeleton in here. Um, thematically, I thought it would go, it'd be a good drink to have at playing this game. So let's go ahead and have a sip. And for those that are not familiar, oh, that's such a good beer. For those not familiar, Zombie Dice is a Steve Jackson game where you're basically rolling dice. And the idea is you're trying to get 13 points. And so what you'll do is you'll roll... And I just happened to get a bunch of brains on that one. That's not how it usually works. I think that was st stacked. So let's do this again. So what happened is you would roll these out. And then you would place the brains on one side. The shotgun shells on the other side. And if you got three shotgun shells, you're going to lose. So in this particular case, I would have lost the first time. So then it would be the next player's turn. They would go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and knock those down. And then, so this player would take the dice and say, okay, here's four brains, five brains, actually. We have one shotgun shell and then two shotgun shells and then rest their feet. So at this point, if you get a third shotgun shell when you reroll these dice, you're going to die. So this person would say, nope, I'm going to go ahead and take these five points, pass it back to player one or player three. Let's go ahead and take a sip. The next player will go. And you can really play this with as many people as you want, but we'll pretend like this is a two-player game. So the, the first player will go. They rolled shot, four shotgun shells, so their turn's over. Now, it's going to be back to player two's turn. Remember, player two has those five points from that initial roll, so they would have rolled those shotgun shells. Their turn's over. And normally, you don't get this many shotgun shells or brains right about that. So this just happens to be a series where we're getting a lot of shotgun shells. So let's go ahead and roll. There we go. All right, so this person, yep, that, that turn would be over. And this would keep going back and forth until somebody gets their 13 points. Now, we just happen to be having some bad luck where we're getting a lot of shotgun shells. Normally, that's not going to happen. Now, you can roll it like that. Or you can roll it like this, and we'll see if this gives us something different. All right, well, there's three shotgun cells that that player turns over. This person would go and roll their turn. But normally when you're doing this, you're not getting that many shotgun shells. See how when I roll there, there's not, there's not that many shotgun shells. So this player would go ahead and take their points. Now, here's a situation where... These are all the feet. There's no shells. These are the victims that got away. They're going to go ahead and decide to re-roll what dice are left over. However, if they get three shotgun shells on these, they are going to lose. So they got one more brain, but two shotgun shells. They could choose to re-roll these dice, but if one of these is a shotgun shell, they will get their third. And the green, if I recall correctly, will have less shotgun shells on the six-sided dice. The yellow will have a few more, and the red will actually have um, less chance to get a brain. So part of the thing that you want to look at is, you know, when you, you want to look at your dice when you roll them. You know, what do you have left? You know your red dice are going to be the ones that are more likely to gonna have a shotgun shell than the other dice. Let's go ahead and take a sip. But I really enjoy this game, Zombie Dice. It's a really quick, easy game to play. And then you just kind of go back and forth until somebody gets 13 points. Um, you can get this game for between $12 and $15 um, on Amazon. But obviously, I always recommend that you go to your local game store to purchase a game if you can. And I would really love to hear in the comment sections 
is there a zombie themed whiskey um, or a wine or another liqueur that you would have paired with zombie dice? Um, this is the one I happen to have. I do think we probably could come up with a better one as a group. So I would love to hear in the comment section what you would recommend would be a good drink to pair with zombie dice. And I would also like to hear in the comment section what other games out there would you like to have a video or like me to do a video on of what drink to pair with these. Um, I've done a couple of these so far and if I could remember... I'll have one of these post put one of them post up at the end of this particular video. I don't always remember to do that. And I really do appreciate everybody taking the time to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And until next time, folks, cheers.